welcome back to advanced cello tips. In this video I would like to focus on two elements that are essential for the natural functioning of the right arm. Keeping a straight bow is essential to produce a good sound. When approaching the frog in an up bow, the elbow needs to fall down naturally towards the instrument. To keep a nice 90 degree angle between strings and bow, pushing the hand towards the string would change that angle and it would avoid the elbow of coming down. It's obvious that we have to push the wrist towards the string, as Paul Tutoyer explains perfectly in his method. I use the image of a tramway, drawing two imaginary lines, one being the stick itself, the other one an imaginary line from the wrist towards the string. So we keep that two lines in parallel. I call that the tramway. And you can see, if I do this, I let my elbow fall down towards the instrument. When approaching the frog in an up bow, the little finger should grab the bow actively in order to keep the free end of the stick falling down. And the other fingers should relax their grip on the bow. If we connect little finger, wrist and elbow, the result will be a natural feeling of uh, falling down the whole arm as a compact unit. As the wrist is the highest and strongest point of the arch between fingers and elbow, we should keep it curved because lowering it would weaken this construction and hinder the whole pendulum motion of the arm. I often talk in my lessons about the use of natural or organic gestures as made in daily life. If we, for instance, reach out with the arm to grab something, as you can observe, we initiate the gesture from the center balance point and we draw a pendulum. As the stick has a curved form in its upper part, as you can see, we actually draw a similar curve with the arm when playing towards the tip. The result is a pendulum motion. This pendulum keeps the wrist on the same level. Opening the forearm, though, would lower the wrist, bring the fingers off the bow, and will tense up the whole arm. To sustain the sound towards the tip, I use the pronation twisting action between first finger and thumb, as explained in my first video. If we join this pendulum action and the twisting action, we join body and arms in one fluent motion that will make this pendulum even more effective. I call that to stay above your hand. Putting even more pressure by the rolling action will let you make a crescendo without any effort. I will now demonstrate both tramway and pendulum using an excerpt from the Saint-Saëns concerto.
having seen the video, it's maybe time to reflect or to watch it again. If you would like to have more cello tips, please subscribe to my website. And if you have any question or you want to get an in-depth explanation on one of the topics, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.